ओके नाउ बिफोर गोइंग टू थ्री बिट काउंटर्स लेट मी गिव यू अनदर परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ टू बिट काउंटर्स टू बिट अप एंड डाउन काउंटर बोथ वी विल सी बट देर इज अ स्लाइट चेंज दिस टाइम वॉट आई एम डूइंग आई एम चेंजिंग द क्लॉक प्रीवियसली द क्लॉक्स वेर नेगेटिव एज ट्रिगर्ड नाउ लेट सी वॉट विल हैपन इफ यू विल कीप पॉजिटिव एज ट्रिगर्ड क्लॉक्स ओके मीन्स योर फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स विल बी पॉजिटिव एज ट्रिगर्ड नाउ दिस गाय एज वेल एज दिस गाय ओके सो वॉट डिफरेंस यू विल सी यू कैन यू कैन सी हियर दैट्स वॉट वी विल डिस्कस सो ऑल द अरेंजमेंट इज सेम एज प्रीवियस द इनपुट्स आर वन टी जीरो एंड टी वन फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स आर देयर एल एस बी एम एस बी एल एस बी इज कनेक्टेड टू एक्सटर्नल क्लॉक नाउ हियर वॉट आई एम डूइंग इज क्यू जीरो बार इज फीडेड एज द क्लॉक टू टी वन फ्लिप फ्लॉप एंड दैट टू इज अ पॉजिटिव एज ट्रिगर्ड दिस इज द पॉजिटिव एज ट्रिगर्ड फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स बोथ ऑफ दैम नाउ वॉट डिफरेंस यू विल सी हियर यू कैन ऑब्जर्व वेन द क्लॉक इज जीरो क्लॉक इज देयर मीन्स इनिशियल स्टेट वॉज क्यू वन ऑफ क्यू वन एंड क्यू जीरो वॉज जीरो जीरो सो सिंस क्यू जीरो इज जीरो क्यू जीरो बार विल बी वन नाउ वेन फर्स्ट क्लॉक पल्स विल कम दिस गाय विल चेंज इट्स वैल्यू सिंस इट इज कनेक्टेड टू दिस एंड इट विल टॉगल ओके सिंस दिस इज वन दिस विल बी जीरो यू कैन सी क्यू जीरो बार इज कमिंग फ्रॉम वन टू जीरो मीन्स इट्स अ नेगेटिव एज एंड अवर टी वन फ्लिप फ्लॉप इज ऑफ पॉजिटिव एज ट्रिगर्ड मीन्स देर वोट बी एनी चेंज इन द स्टेट राइट Similarly, second clock pulse will come. Second clock pulse will give you what? This guy will change to zero. This is toggling every clock cycle. That's why this becomes zero. Since this is zero, Q zero bar will become one. Now you can see it's a change from zero to one. So positive edge came. Means this guy will also change its state, and it will toggle. Then third clock cycle, what will happen? Now uh, this guy will change. Since this is one, this will become zero. There is a a uh, negative edge so this will be as it is so fourth clock cycle what will happen fourth clock cycle i will write here so this will become toggle then uh, last guy will be one and similarly this guy will be since there is a change from 0 to 1 positive edge means this guy will also change right so you can see it is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 then again 0 0 so Zero, one, two, three, then again zero. Okay, that's the sequence. It follows. So this it is an up counter, right? So now you are clear with this the operation, and you can see in the graphs as well. Clock cycle is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clock cycles I have taken. Then Q zero I have plotted every positive edge. It changes states. Starting it was zero. positive edge of a clock came changes its state stays there when another positive edge comes changes its state stays there then changes its state stays there changes its state likewise okay so in positive edges it is changing its state now q0 curve you have so q0 bar curve will be just a uh, reverse of this right toggle it is so 1 becomes 0 0 becomes 1 you can see here then you have to mark positive edges positive edges because this guy also works with a positive edge triggered uh, so what will happen every positive edge q1 will change its state okay so q0 bar is fitted here as the input that's why it is happening so it initially it was q1 was 0 so positive edge came change its state change its state change its state change its state right so if you will see uh if you will see q1 and q0 what is this uh 00 was there uh then 01 10 11 11 okay then again 00 01 10 11 00 011 so you are aware of this so it's an up counter so even with positive edge triggering you can achieve up counting and down counting okay and if you look at the frequency uh look at these four so this four if you um let's see this four okay till this point to this point if you will see you have 1 2 3 4 clock cycles right and uh, here you can see between these two you have only two one is this one is this so frequency of this signal 
is f clock divided by 2 and within this you have only one of this cycle so f clock divided by 4 okay the frequency of this so everything is similar to what you had in the previous one the mod values maximum mod value is 3 frequencies are like this which you had previously as well uh, up counting is there and uh, uh, maximum count is there uh, everything everything seems same it's a counter what we have seen before the only thing i did is i've changed the clock to positive edge and you can see why when i did this you have to connect q0 bar to this clock then only it will behave as up counter uh, now let's quickly look at the down counter as well you might have guessed what i'll do uh, but still for the completeness sake i'll do it let's quickly look at the uh, two bit down counter now uh, you can see the clock is same here now instead of providing q0 bar as the clock to t1 i am providing q0 as a clock to t1 okay that's the only change i did and it become instead of up counter it became down counter okay so clocks are given clock uh, q1 q0 uh, initially they were zero now when first clock pulse came q0 changes its state because it is toggling every clock pulse so it becomes one since there is a change from zero to one and this is being fed to t1 flip-flop zero to one means positive edge means this guy will also change its state zero to one okay second clock pulse came this becomes zero since there is a change from one to zero negative edge is coming hence same state is maintained in q1 then third clock pulse came this becomes uh, zero to one since it is going from 0 to 1, uh, this guy will also change its state uh, and it becomes 1 to 0. Then 4 clock cycles, in it, it becomes 0, 0 again. So what is the sequence being followed? 0, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, that is how sequence is being followed. So it is a down counter. Okay, here you can see the clock pulses 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 clock pulses I have taken and you can see every positive edge q0 will change its state so q0 was 0 uh, it changes to 1 when a positive edge came and then uh, it's like this again it changes state when positive edge came likewise you can see so frequency will become f clock divided by 2 you can uh, i'll give you the the feel later on q1 is uh, now will work on positive edges of q0 not clock okay q0 so it was maintained as as a zero and a positive edge came and in q0 it becomes one like this like this like this so what you have seen is positive edge two bit down counter this frequency will become f clock by two and this uh, waves frequency be becomes f clock divided by four you can see um, uh, take this four cycles okay take this four so here you can see two of these is there one of this is there so f clock divided by 4 f clock divided by 2 and everything is same mod 4 counter because you have um, four distinct state 0 0 1 1 1 0 and 0 1 these are different state four different states so 4 mod 4 and maximum count is 2 to the power 2 minus 1 uh, that becomes 4 minus 1 is 3 so maximum count you can have is 3 so this is what uh, uh, the asynchronous counter is and that's all it has means how you are connecting that's the only thing matters whether you are connecting q0 to uh, the positive clock or whether you are connecting q0 to negative edge or you are connecting q0 bar to positive edge or q0 bar to negative edge these are the four combinations you will see and that's how uh, asynchronous counter works and uh, the next variation you can see is uh, uh, increasing the bit means 3 bit counter 4 bit counter and 5 bit and you will see the complexity will increase so okay so i'm just uh, setting the base in your head how how things work in asynchronous counter now let's see the 3 bit uh, up down counter and uh, then i'll conclude uh, how to how to see uh, at one glance uh, which counter it is you will be able to figure out okay